Building tall buildings and creating vertical cities can bring both benefits and challenges. The Guyana launched the International Building Expo at the National Stadium, the largest one to date, heralding a massive infrastructural overhaul for the new oil-producing country that, with over 300 local and international small, medium, and larger-scale companies in manufacturing, engineering, finance, construction, and other sectors, the event provides an opportunity to network and grow. International Building Expo is the only one of its kind in the Caribbean. Expo provides a creative hub where stakeholders, prospective investors, homeowners, and citizens can connect, be inspired, and transform modern and innovative solutions for the creation of smart infrastructure and more sustainable housing developments. The transformation of the country will position it among the best of nations. At the Building Expo event, Guyana launched its Dream Realized Housing Drive, involving the distribution of certificates of titles and transports for lands to Guyanese citizens. The Guyana aims to allocate 5,000 house lots and distribute thousands of other titles and transports to Alates. The Guyana would support Guyana's working people with free steel and cement to commence construction of their homes. Announced that banking institutions agreed to reduce down payments for the financing of home building to 0% for homes below Jai dollar 6 million and to 38% for homes up to Jai dollar 9 million. The Guyana will invest us dollar 100 billion into modernizing public infrastructure across all Guyana's 10 administrative regions with a view of closing development gaps between the coast and the hinterlands. Included in these plans is the start of the development of a new high-tech urban settlement called Silica City. The physical overhaul of the country is linked to the development of Guyana's human resources. Infrastructure transformation must be linked to the human transformation and advancement. The roads and the bridges that you hear us talk about, the new buildings, they are all linked to the upliftment of human life here in Guyana. Building tall buildings and creating vertical cities can bring both benefits and challenges. Here are some common problems associated with tall buildings and vertical cities, along with potential benefits that can outweigh those losses. Problems with tall buildings and vertical cities. 1. Structural considerations. Building tall structures requires careful engineering and design to ensure structural stability and safety. Factors such as wind loads, foundation requirements, and material strength become more critical as buildings increase in height. Too high construction and maintenance costs. Tall buildings are generally more expensive to construct and maintain compared to shorter structures. The cost of materials, specialized construction techniques, and ongoing maintenance can be substantial. 3. Shadowing and Microclimate Impact Tall buildings can cast shadows on surrounding areas, potentially reducing sunlight and affecting the microclimate. This can impact temperature, natural light, and vegetation in nearby areas. 4. Wind Effects Tall buildings can create wind tunnels and amplify wind speeds at ground level, affecting pedestrian comfort outdoor spaces, and even causing damage in extreme cases. Proper urban planning and wind engineering are essential to mitigate these effects. 5. Increased energy consumption. Tall buildings require significant energy for lighting, ventilation, and vertical transportation elevators. Balancing energy efficiency and sustainability becomes crucial to minimize environmental impacts. 6. Urban density and congestion. Concentrating a large population in vertical cities can lead to increased urban density and potential challenges related to traffic congestion, overcrowding and strain on infrastructure and services.